Everything good, everything bright, everything holy, everything right, everything worthy, all that I should. And all that's well, cause I'm gonna dwell. Just thank God, cause that's what this church is to be about, touching lives and reaching out to people that need the Lord. So I pray that you are ever, you know, coming before the Lord, as Shannon said, in prayer, believing that God will do the impossible, as Mary was sharing in her testimony. You know, that's what God is all about. I was sharing up, went up to see a couple of people at the hospital and shared with a, with a man, you know, his father's facing cancer. I was able to pray with him and to tell him, you know, even though the circumstances don't look good, we serve a God of the impossible. Hallelujah. Amen. We serve a God that can do all things. And I thank Him for, for all that He ha has been doing in our lives and what He's going to do. Because as long as He's on the throne, our God is in control. Amen. Amen. And He is ever working and performing great and mighty things. And I just yeah. thank you. Hallelujah. If you have your Bibles, I want you to turn to the book of Psalm 107. Psalms 107. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I just want to thank everyone that take the time to come into the presence of the Lord. And I'm glad to see Cody here tonight. It's always good to see him. And um, just we're continuing to pray for him. But it's good to have him in the service, and I pray God's touch upon him and his body. Hallelujah. We can yeah. receive something from the Lord when we're in his presence. Praise Amen. the Lord. Praise so I just ask that you'd open up your heart to receive that this tonight, Lord. Let the Lord come in to your life. Praise the Lord. Psalms 107. At verse 1, we're going to start at verse 1, and it says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for He is good. For His mercy endureth forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom He hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy, and gathered them out of the lands from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. They wandered in the wilderness in a solitary way. They found no city to dwell in. Hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted in them. And then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble. And He delivered them out of their distresses. Yes. And He led them forth by the right way that they might go to the city of habitation. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for His goodness and for His wonderful works to the children of men. For He satisfieth the longing soul and filleth the hungry soul with goodness. Amen. amen. Can you say amen, amen to the reading of God's Word? Lord, we're thankful, Jesus, that once again we are found, Lord, in Your presence, Lord. And Lord, I just pray, God, that as we, Lord, uh, go into Your Word, Lord, that You would just uh, have our minds ready, our heart open, God, to receive the Word of the Lord. Lord, I pray, God, that You, Lord, would hide me behind the cross, Lord, for I know that I am nothing without You, Lord Jesus. Uh, Lord, let Your Word continue to go forth, Lord, with power and with anointing, and let Your Spirit rest upon Your people, Lord. We invite the presence of the Lord, the Holy Spirit, into this place to speak to us, to, Lord, draw us ever close to You, and let us receive your word, Lord, and let us, Lord, put your word into action in our lives. We ask it in the name of Jesus. And everyone said, Amen. 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 Hallelujah. I like in this scripture where it says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for He is good, and His mercy endureth for all generations. Hallelujah. Forever and forever. 
forever. It will endure. Hallelujah. I want you to know that God is calling his church. He wants his church to have a thankful heart. He wants the praise to be on our lips tonight. Hallelujah. But you know, this is an action when we give thanks unto the Lord. When we show the good things that God has done in our lives. It was your action that you stood up and you gave thanks for what God has done for you. You know, just as Nancy, it wasn't much, but she stood up and thanked God that she would be able to be found in the house of the yeah, Lord. Amen. Well, you don't know what a blessing it is to have good health and have strength. Uh, sometimes we can take those things for granted, but we've got to remember as I went through that hospital hall and I said, God, I'm thankful that you have given me health and strength and you have given me the ability that I can serve you with yes. all of my Amen. life. Yes. I like what it says in, in Psalms 34. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in Him. We can share in the goodness of God. We can partake in what He has for us. You know, it's up to us that we come and we taste. That we take part in what God has given us. What God has prepared for us. But it's up to us that we find ourselves in the mercies of the Lord. I'm so thankful for His mercy that He has given to me. Yes. And sometimes when we're not so merciful, I want you to know that God is long-suffering and He is so ever merciful to Amen. us. Thank God. In Lamentations 3.22 it says it is the Lord's mercies. That we are not consumed because His compassions, they fail not. Yes. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Amen. Even as I said this morning, even in our times of unfaithfulness, God is ever so faithful to us. And He is long-suffering and He is merciful even to a lost generation, even to those that are not living their lives. This is the time of His mercy and His grace. Hallelujah. Yes. It's an opportunity. Were the seats full this morning? No. But there were people that it's just one that comes through those doors when I saw Trani come in there. And I thought of her as just a little girl in this church. And it's been a while since she was here. And I know that God is dealing with her and speaking to her. God cares for the one. He cares. He will leave the 90 and 1 to go after that one. He don't want to see anyone lost. The redeemed. We are the redeemed. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Has God done something in your life? Amen. 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 Has He done something in your life? Amen. Has He done great things for you? Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. This scripture says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Don't hold it in. Don't keep it to yourself. See, I believe that when God comes down and touches your life, you won't want to keep it to yourself. Amen. You'll want to share it with everyone that you come in contact with. I said, Lord, that's why God gives us experiences with Him. When His presence comes down upon us and touches us, He saved us. He cleansed us. We're no longer bound. We're no longer in a bondage. We've been set free. Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Are you the redeemed? Are you blood-bought uh, tonight? 
as Jesus cleansed you from all of your sins, he said, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Hallelujah. Amen. What's that mean? That means there's going to be something that comes forth out of your mouth. There's going to be something that comes forth from your life. God is ever moving and doing great things. We need to proclaim the goodness of our God. Amen. You know, I always think of what do others know me by? What do they see of me? Are we sharing God's love? Are we declaring the goodness of our God with others that we come in contact with? I always think, you know, when you, you, you think of things, I guess, the older you get, you know, when you think of when you die, what, is, what are people going to remember you by? What are they going to know you for? I want them to know that I am a child of the living God. Hallelujah. I am a child of the King, and I want to declare the good and mighty things that God has done for my life. Amen. I want to share this. With others. It's so important that we share it just as Maverick. You know, as a little child, can God touch a little child? Oh, yes, He can. His Spirit can rest upon that little boy. God can even speak through a child. The goodness of our God. The good thing. See, He knows that this is a good place. That this is where it's at. Amen. This is where we need to be. Re declaring it. And not just to the in here in these four walls. But we need to take it out to others. And share what God has done. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Hallelujah. Proverbs says that the mouth of a righteous man is the well of life. In 1 Peter 3.10, it says, For he that will love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips that speak no guile. Nothing. Don't let nothing come out of but the good things that God has done. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's think of what God has done in our lives and let it come forth out of our mouth. Oh. Jesus said in Matthew 12, 34 through 36, He said, out of the heart the mouth speaketh. What's coming forth out of your mouth? Is it the good things of God? Or is it always, you know, a complaint? You know, I, I have to say, I, I worked around someone, it just seemed like they were never happy. They were, there was always a complaint. There was always something wrong. No, let's not have that kind of attitude. Let us have a, a mind uh, that is on the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us have our heart on the good things that God has done for us. I have to say, as a little girl, when I would read this part of the Scripture, I know there's many things in the Scripture, but I have to say, I, it really got to me where Jesus said in this Scripture, in verse 36, He said, But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give an account thereof on the day of judgment. You know, we can find ourselves the words of men. The things that we say. The vain words that we can say. You know, I thought of the other day when I was listening. Shannon had it on Fox News. And I mean, just constantly. I said, sometimes it just seems like it's just the same thing over and over again. Constant talk. Doesn't matter. Does it mean? What means? What counts in this life is the things that we share that count for the Lord Jesus Christ. The good things that God has done in our lives. We can talk about all kinds of conversations. 
You know, I was just sharing the news, politics, all kinds of things. You can have uh, words of men that are prideful and arrogant and flattering a tongue that would try to, you know, give you a compliment. But it says in Colossians, let your speech be always with grace. Seasoned with salt. I always get on Matthias. Because he's always getting out that salt shaker. Well, we need a little bit of it. We've got to make sure that, that our, our mouth is proclaiming the good things of God. You know, it, it matters what others see and what others hear. What's coming from our lips. And what's coming out of our mouth. Season with salt that ye may know how ye ought to answer every man. I want to share this gospel. I don't want to keep it to myself. I was reading in, in, uh, in Mark. And it made me think, you know, when Jesus touches your life, when He transforms you of the man that was demon-possessed, He had a devil. Jesus prayed for him and set him free. Yes. He was set free. We need to see the chains of the devil broken in people's lives. But he was set free and he was so ever thankful. He was so ever wanting to just be with Jesus. You know, Jesus was getting ready as it says in Mark 5. 18, it says that when he was coming to the ship, Jesus was getting ready to leave. The man that was possessed of the devil prayed him that he might be with him. See, he wanted to stay with Jesus. He wanted to go with Jesus. Jesus said, suffer him not. He said, go home to thy friends and tell how great things the Lord has done for thee. Hallelujah. See, at the same time, I could be out doing my part and you can be out saying your part of the good things that God has done. And we all do it together. What great things God will do. Hallelujah. To share the good things of God. To be ready to speak. Amen. This isn't just for the preacher. This is for you. Constant readiness. 1 Peter 3, 5 says to be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you. Do you have the hope of Jesus Christ in your life? Is it flowing in your heart and in your life? Or is there stagnant? Is there stagnant waters? Talks about stirring up the gift that is within us. Let God use you. Let God uh, take you to new heights. Amen? Asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and with fear. That means... Come before Him. Ask the Lord to help you. You seek the Lord and say, Lord, you give me the words to say. I guarantee you God is going to come down and He will give you the right words to say to the people that you come in contact with every day. Let your light so ever shine and declare the good things that God has done. Praise the Lord. 2 Timothy, it talks about be not ashamed of the testimony of the Lord. I don't want to be ashamed. I want to share what God has done. I want to share it and declare it to a lost and a dying world that needs Jesus. Amen? Amen. That needs Jesus. There are so many people out there that need God. That need is love. In verse six it says, and then they were hungry. Or verse five says they were hungry and thirsty, and their soul fainted in them. Sometimes down here it can be a dry and a barren land, 
And if you're not plugged into the things of God and you're not staying in tune to His Word and staying rooted and grounded, you're going to become hungry and thirsty. Let's hunger though for the things of God. Let's turn to Him and receive what God has for us. It says in their distress, it says they cried unto the Lord in their trouble and delivered them out of their distresses. We just went by Sam and Norma. They go out every Sunday. You know, God is so good. I, I want to share and thank God for His goodness. You know, Shannon's mom and dad, they're up in years and God's been good to them, faithful to them. And they continue to take the chapel out to the truck stops and set up the church right there for people to come in and to receive the Lord. And we went over to, to talk with them before we went home today. And and uh, here Sam shared a wonderful testimony, a miraculous, a miracle, hallelujah. I'm here to tell you, my God is in the miracle working business. Yes. Hallelujah. He shared, a, we, Shannon has cousins down in Virginia, and he was talking to his sister, and this was her son, Shannon's cousin. He said that he'd come down the one side street where he lives and there was a commotion. There, there was cars like parked out in front and they, that she, he saw two men or two women coming out and they had a baby. She had the baby in her arms and, and he came up and, and wondered what was going on because they had the road kind of blocked. I think that's what he, he had shared. And she cried out. She's like, my baby, it's not breathing. He goes, well, I really don't know what to do. I guess he didn't know CPR. He didn't know what to do for the baby. He goes, all I know is we got to pray. And he said he laid his hand. And I will say, this, this man, he's not a fired up, you know, he's, He's kind of quiet. He isn't really one. He's a businessman. Just thinks, you know, kind of like that. But he had enough to know to lay his hand on that baby and to pray. Amen. And he said when he laid his head and he began to pray, that baby started to cry and started to choke. And it started to scream and cry. And then the ambulance came and he said he just kind of eased his way out and went home to show you the goodness of our God. When we can cry out to him, he is there to deliver us. Praise the Lord. To set us free. To give us life. To give us miracles. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Praise God. Amen. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Say what? Say, oh yes, God's been good to me. He healed me way back then. Yes, God touched my life and He has done great things in my family. He has saved my loved ones. God is doing great things for me. Yes, when we declare the goodness and we just quiet ourselves and keep our mouth closed to the things of God, how is ever this Word going to go forth? How ever is, is the good things that God has done for you ever going to be, uh, to be spread to those that need a Savior? That need a redeemer. If God has redeemed you, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Hallelujah. He has delivered us. It says, oh, that men would praise the Lord. That's why we encourage you in church that you take the time to lift your hands, to lift your voice to the Lord. That's what the Scripture says. Say so. Let it come forth out of your mouth. Let it come forth out of your, your heart. 
in your mind, your soul, everything about you. Let it say so. Amen. Let it be a part. God will do great things because of the goodness of our God. When I think over the years, the goodness. Oh, He's been good to us tonight. Yes. Have we faced trials? Yes. Have we faced tribulation? Yes. Have we faced sorrows? Oh, yes, we have. But He is a good and faithful God that will not leave us nor forsake us. Amen. And He will be with us to the very end for the wonderful works that He has done for you. You know, I think of... Maverick's life. I think of Harley. I think of, you know, all of us here, you know, the things that as Bill shared, as he was delivered from that accident, God was with him and others have, you know, Glenn and Mary, the good things that God has done for us and delivered us. I'm standing here behind this sacred desk preaching the word of God to you. Hallelujah. Amen. Not in the grave. God delivered me and He healed me and He set me free and He can do the same for you tonight. God is no respecter of persons. He will deliver us when we cry out to Him as the Scripture says because He satisfies the longing, the longing soul. He filleth the hungry. The soul with goodness. Hallelujah. I want the goodness of our God as I shared this morning. The favor of God. The goodness that He has. God has been ever good to you. And He will continue when we continue to say so. Hallelujah. When we begin to share what God has done for us and we declare it to everyone. Hallelujah. That He is our God. Hallelujah. He is our Redeemer. Hallelujah. He is our soon coming King. Praise the Lord. Can you say amen tonight? Everything good, everything bright, everything holy, everything right, everything worthy, all that I should.